feels good. I'm excited. I want to jump in. The parking lot is still pretty quiet at the Shawron Fishing Access Site, but Missoulians know it won't stay that way for long. Where people are parked out on, you know, the highway. This college town's favorite pastime is back. We're floating. <laughs> and now there's a new business hoping to help people float on a little easier. All you have to do is know how to sit down and float. <laughs> Introducing the Clark Fork Yacht Club. There are no yachts and it's not a club. Tucked away in the alley behind Betty's Divine, the hot pink tubes are hard to miss. A bit of beach theme plus nautical theme. Complete with plastic flamingos, an 80s themed bus, and sailor caps. This is also our uniform. This yacht club has all the perks and quirks. And the little poke at it because tubing's not a fancy activity. Miranda Hickox says after the pandemic, she saw an opportunity to reach both locals and tourists. I want to show them the beauty of Missoula. I want to show them that being in nature and enjoying our rivers and respecting our rivers is can be low effort. Low effort and Hickox hopes high reward. A more sustainable option. People can walk or bike here and then we take a bunch of people all at once and then also reducing the amount of inebriated drivers on the road as well. They've already taken a few groups out and love the way the flamingo floats look out on the water. We can fit up to 23 people. And with Missoula about to see a heat wave, they're expecting a busy summer. We do have a lot of bookings. The Yacht Club is also working with the Clark Fork Coalition to keep the float safe and litter free. People are going to be tubing and floating and using the rivers systems no matter what, but as long as they can do it educated and informed, um, we can all enjoy the river system a little bit better. Have fun. Thank, Thank you. you.